Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Javin from YourEasyFilm.com and today we're going to talk about the freeze effect which is also known as the character introduction effect in Premiere Pro. Let's go! Okay, before we jump into Premiere I want to give you some tips to avoid mistakes. The effect is easy to use, but it is way easier when you do a little bit of pre-planning. Number one is that your character should walk in front and also close to the camera. It's better to shoot in a higher number of frame rates to avoid motion blur. Because we are using the mask tool for this effect, it's also important that your character doesn't hold anything in their hands. Otherwise, it will way harder to mask it out and the better the mask, the better the effect will look like. Okay, let's jump into Premiere Pro. We're gonna drag and drop our clip into the timeline. We're gonna select our cursor to the point where we wanna create this effect. If you have the right point, just do a right click with your mouse and select Add Frame Hold. It will automatically create a cut and you'll just have the frame where you wanna create this effect. We're gonna duplicate this frame by holding Alt and drag it up with the left mouse click. Make sure the first clip is selected and go over to Effect Panels. The next thing is that we're drawing a mask around our subject. Click on the Mask tool and start drawing your mask. Of course it will take some time, but the better the mask, the better the effect will look like. I'm gonna do this in fast forward now that you don't get bored. So if we created our mask, we can start with scaling and positioning. We're gonna do this by clicking the stopwatch to get this effect. Make sure that your first keyframes are in the beginning of your clip. Just put your cursor on the end of the clip or even at the frame where you wanna end this effect. Now you can scale it up and you can also reposition your subject wherever you want. Don't care about this in the background, we're gonna fix this later on. To let this effect look a little bit smoother, just select your keyframes, do on the right click and select Ease In. For the first keyframes, you're just gonna do the same and hit Ease Out. Now we can add some effects to our background. I'm gonna search for the black and white effect and just drag it onto our background clip. We also want to add a little bit blurriness by using the Gaussian Blur effect. Drag this effect also to your clip, go over Effect Control Panels and just drag up the blurriness to 25. Make also sure that this icon is clicked to avoid motion blur in the edges. Now we will nest our clip that we can drag and drop other effects to it. Gonna do this by right click and click on Nest. The next effect we're gonna add is Radial Shadow. Just search it in the video effects and drag and drop it to our nested sequence. As you can see, it will automatically create a shadow. Make sure that you drag the opacity to 100%. You can also change the position of the shadow by playing with the light source. Make also sure that you drag your projection distance to 5. Of course you can do it like whatever you want, but I would highly recommend these settings. I would also highly recommend to change the color from the shadow from black to white. Okay, if we've done that, we're gonna drag up our clip to positions, because we wanna put our next effects below this clip. Now we're gonna drag the splash ink picture below our clip. You can easily search for this on Google by typing in splash ink. You will quickly find some free pictures to use. Just make sure that you're using a transparent file. 
Now we can also scale and position the splash ink wherever we want it. I would highly recommend an opposite scale effect to this picture. So we hit the time icon at the scale effect again and gonna create the opposite effect. I like to use the splash ink in black, but you can also change the color if you want to. Just search for the change to color effect and drag it onto your picture. Just go over the effect control panels and scroll down to the change to color effect. Grab this little pen tool and select your first color and also select your second color. I would highly recommend that it matches with your character's color and make sure that you change the settings from hue to hue, lightness and saturation. And also make sure that you drag hue to 100%. Now we can add some text by hitting T on our keyboard or just grabbing this little text tool. Type in the name of your character or also whatever you want. Just make sure that your text is below your nested sequence, that it will stay in the background. You can also add a rotation or also a scaling effect for the text. Okay, we're gonna add one more effect and go over effect panels and search for dip to white. Just drag it onto your moving and also on your freeze clip. Now we can render it out and see what we have created. Okay guys, that was the character introduction effect, I hope I could help you out. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and a comment, don't forget to subscribe and we we'll see us in the next video. Peace out.